Okay, how would we do the integration of e to the x sine x? Um, if we do this by parts, um, th this will work. However, it's going to be slightly different to what you're used to. So the methods, the method is going to be by parts, but we're going to, we have to sort of think outside the box a little bit. So let's fill in the by parts formula for this. Of course, we need to choose what u and v dash are. So if we just use the L-I-A-T-E um, hierarchy, we can say that u is going to be the trig first. Okay, and then that means, because t is before e, so then that means v dash is going to be e to the x. And then we do u dash is cos x, v is e to the x, and then we just fill in the formula. So the integral of e to the x sine x equals uv minus integral of v du dx. Now, well, this is a bit strange. How are we supposed to integrate this, right? Let's do bypass again. Okay, let's do bypass again for this thing. If I use the same L-I-A-T-E, uh, we're going to make U equal cos X. And V dash is E to the X. So that means V is E to the X. And U dash is minus sine X. Okay. And again, so filling in the bypass formula with these um, parameters, we get e to the x cos x, these variables, minus v du dx again. So that will be e to the x times minus sine x, right? What I'm going to do is I'm just going to sort of bring that minus out, that minus 1. So it basically becomes a plus on the outside. And the inside here is just e to the x sine x. Now, what's interesting is that we've basically ended up with e to the x sine x again, integral of e to the x sine x. But that's actually a good thing. Now, let me show you why. Okay, so this is where the outside the box sort of thinking comes in. We just worked out that this is the same thing as this. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say this is the same thing as, or well, we worked as e to the e to the x sine x minus minus this thing, right? What did we work this thing out to be? This. Okay, so minus this, right? Now look what we can do from here. This is very, this is very cool. I'm going to, so so let's just re, let's just work, write what we just worked out. Integration of e to the x sine x is the same thing as this thing, right? E to the x sine x minus bracket. The bracket is very important here. E to the x cos x plus integral of e to the x sine x. Now, if I expand this bracket out. So integral of e to the x sine x equals e to the x sine x. Now if I expand the bracket out, you get minus e to the x cos x minus integral of e to the x sine x. Now if I if I add this to both sides, it, it seems like we're cheating, but but this is valid. There's nothing I've done that goes against any algebra principle, right? If I add the integral of e to the x sine x to both sides, we get this. 2 e to the x sine x integrals on the left hand side and then just this stuff on the right hand side okay and finally what was the question work out the integral of this right so just divide both sides by 2 equals a half e to the x sine x minus e to the x cos x, there you have it, that is the answer. I hope you found that video useful. Support us by liking, subscribing and share this with your friends. And if you still got some more questions on anything, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com 
where you'll find your questions answered.